Clone Troopers were an army of identical genetically modified clones created to serve in the Grand Army of the Republic during the full-scale intergalactic conflict that came to be known as the Clone Wars. Grown at an accelerated rate and raised in the laboratories and facilities of Kamino, the clone troopers were trained throughout the first 10 years of their lives to become one of the most efficient military forces in galactic history. Bred for the sole purpose of combat, the clone troopers were indoctrinated with unwavering obedience to the Galactic Republic and, more specifically, their Commander-in-Chief, the Supreme Chancellor. Well, hello fellow collectors, guys and girls from around the world. It's the Commander 35 back here again. I hope you're all doing well. This time around, coming at you with an action figure review of Hasbro's Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Wave 8 Phase 1 Clone Trooper Captain. Now, when this guy hits retailers near you, he should uh, normally go for about $19.99. And, uh, you know, just in case you feel uncertain about getting them there and not, not like, too, um, you know, positive with uh, Hasbro's distribution, you could definitely go to uh, this site, Entertainment Earth, if you haven't heard of it, put a link down below. They have the whole uh, case of Wave 8 available for pre-order, so that way you'll definitely get a set for yourself. So now let's move on to the figure itself. I first off want to start by giving a comparison with the scale of other 6-inch figures in the Black Series. First we got... Um, Stormtrooper right here See so if you can get him to stand properly, which he does, so that's great And we also have the other um, Phase 1 Clone Trooper Originally released, the first out of the Phase 1's they had And uh, now I want to go into a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure from the Black Series line Right here we got Clone Commander Wolf um, So as you can see, um, pretty darn cool isn't it? As you know, since uh, I do love Clone Troopers um, I had to, of course, get this one, the original, and I also got the sergeant over here. So, if he's poking his little head into the frame there. Um, and then, obviously, in front of the camera, we have the captain. So, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm a little, uh, ooh, little addicted to plastic, you could say. But, anywho, um, these particular troopers are based off their, um, the episode, uh, two Attack of the Clones, um, style clone troopers. Uh, and not uh, as opposed to the Clone Wars uh, animated series style versions of them, and uh, I can still say, uh, despite the movie and its flaws, uh, I can say one upside to it is the Clone Troopers, and definitely that's what kept my interest towards the the end of the film, especially the third act. It was uh, very exciting to see them in action. Moving along, let's talk some paint applications and how did Hasbro do well. First off, you can tell he has the main standard clone color the white armor and then his secondary would be this red up here for his rank captain being what he is in the Grand Army of the Republic he even has some red dots going along his left uh, chest breastplate right there and even on his helmet going on his fin and around the back closer inspection reveals immense detailing um, Hasbro did a phenomenal job with this um, it, it looks extremely accurate to, to the actual um, anim, uh, CG characters from Attack of the Clones. The design of it, spot on. I, I love the way the visor is. Always been a fan of it. The black, you know, shade to it right there. They've even included uh, excellent detailing inside, underneath the armor. You can see through with the um, the black jumpsuit. You can tell they put some texturing into that, and it, it looks wow. I just, I'm impressed. And even down here in the legs, you can see it. And nerdgasmic detailing on the belt. Going a little 360 on you. You can see the detonator they got there. Even the back portion up here is it's just, oh my god, it's gorgeous. They even took the time to sculpt in the communicator. You know, which is kind of uh, something that clone troopers have to have. Especially if you're doing a figure of them. <laughs> got some more paint apps on the back of the knee pads over here. The strap pieces. And also, you know, the edges of the boots here. They've included two accessories, one being the DC-15A blaster rifle. And the DC-15S carbine with detailing on the magazine. This bad boy has 20 points of articulation ranging from the neck to the shoulders, even the biceps, the elbows, the wrists, the torso, hips, knees, ankles, everything. 
to now finish up this review on the Clone Trooper Captain here, I guess I'll just give him a solid 5 out of 5 rating. I mean, I, I don't have any problems personally. Big fan of Clone Troopers. And I think Hasbro uh, definitely sold it on this one. They, um, literally too. Uh, and, and I bought them. I bought all three as you can see here. And I, and what I can say, Hasbro, keep them coming. Um, if anything I can gripe about, gripe about, I would, um, say to include more accessories, diverse ones maybe some backpacks like we see in the Clone Wars animated series or possibly like um, a thermal detonators or, or, or binoculars even maybe if they do the the other clone troopers um, yeah I'd, I'd love it I'll, I'll buy it so that's it guys thank you so much for watching until the next review keep the peace and love going may the force be with you time to play with my toys Come with me, my precious. All three of you equally precious to me. Hey there, slick. Oh shit, not again! <laughs>